What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, age what, 60? He's just gonna break bad. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I appreciate you guys being here. My man, DSX, the trucking. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call this guy, but uh, he was born with trucking in his blood, man. He is here to keep the foot on these TikTokers that be talking so much mess. He here to keep his foot on their necks. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. All right, man. All right. So I had to bring you. <clears throat> I had to bring you in, bro. What happened? Too, too, too much buffoonery is going on, <laughs> man. Too much buffoonery, bro. I mean, too much buffoonery. And I, I, I wanted to bring you in right quick to uh to pick your brain so let's okay let's start let's start with this one bro hold, hold on right quick let me let me make sure i got it plugged in hold on all right so why this is uh resetting what's going on with you bro how's uh how's how's life treating you my man life is treating me wonderful you know you have to grab it by the horns and handle it right 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 How's uh how's how's the cancer going, man? We we still got that under control. Yeah, we 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 still good with it right now. We we uh not 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 uh a hundred percent, but we 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 looking good. You looking good, bro. You 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 honestly looking good, man. I mean, you know you um you know you making these uh you making these TikToks. You 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 getting in these uh these TikTokers ass and um and 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 keep <laughs> keep it up bro because i mean there's there's just so much so much buffoonery that's going on in in these TikTok streets man that you know somebody like like you like your caliber needs to come in and 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 put they put your foot on their necks man i was i be trying not to but they be asking for it they be asking right they be asking the, the lies they be telling and the shit I be hearing. I be like, you gotta be kidding me! Right, 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 this right. Kid, this, kid, this kid literally went on there and said he went under a twelve three bridge with a thirteen six. So I, I, I had to, I asked him what color was the signs of that bridge? Because mm -hmm. if you tell me the color of the signs of that bridge, I'll tell you if you're telling the truth or you just flat out lying. They, in what state were you in? And, and he didn't, you know, I uh I, I I got that video set to post in the morning because this 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 kid literally says that I use Apple Maps for truck yes, routing. He I, yes, he did. I, I said, I, I I said, oh my God. Then he made another video. I, I wish I would have got that video in time of me, you know, editing this one down. But in that video, he says he needs an app for truck routing because he don't want to spend no money for a GPS. A right. this, he's, a, he's an idiot. He's an idiot. He don't need to be in truck. He's going to kill somebody. Uh, D man, talk talk, talk, that, talk to that, that, that new generation. Talk to that kid. That new D. Generation. Uh, there you go. I got to say. There you go. I got to say. I got to. I got to. I got to. I got to say. Okay, I got to say. D man, talk to these kids, man, because um, that's the guy right there. Talk to these kids, man. What 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 are we missing out here, bruh? Because TikToks TikTokers is over here making. Make making trucking like like it's 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 it's, it's a, a club, man. It's a game to them. Mm -hmm. It's not a lifestyle. It's a game. Mm -hmm. I have them up in the homeless. Mm. Half of them are homeless. Mm -hmm. So they living in these trucks. Some if look at all the women you see out there now complaining. About being on OTR. Oh no no no, you funky bitch! Guess what you wanted? Welcome to the world. <laughs> Welcome. When we tried to tell you this back in 
18, 19, 20, y'all ain't want to hear it. Y'all thought we was lying to you. We were trying to keep you out of it. Why are you an old, bitter man? <laughs> Bitch, I'm 40 years in. Why would I be old and bitter when I got multiple properties, multiple businesses, multiple trucks, and I've been doing this shit since day one? I didn't come from the strip club off the pole. Now, you know, like, you know, me and you, we always, always been on opposites opposite end of uh, the spectrum but i i respect everything that you put in that you put into this and i sit down and i actually listen and pay attention to what you guys are talking about bro i'm i'm at the point now like with all these tiktokers is over here saying yo get your cdl it's the best thing come and get this money bro i'm like no no stop stop telling these people to get their cdl this is what Man, you need. They, I, I'm telling them. I'm telling them to go to electrician, but, plumbing, uh, carpentry. Uh, There's money out there. There's uh, money out there to be made. I'm I'm telling them to get. That, no, no, no. I'm I'm telling them to get their diesel mechanics. Go go they to diesel that. mechanic. That's they, where they, the money not, at. No, no. Money, money is in plumbing, oh. electrician. Mm -hmm. These dudes is making over a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. As a startup company, mm -hmm. <laughs> look, look at the you know how many electricians they need in the state of Florida right now. Oh, yep, because Lightning. of the because of the hurricane. Yep. Uh huh. You know how many carpenters they gonna need? You know how many plumbers they gonna HVAC workers they gonna need? Oh, they gonna need them. They definitely yeah. gonna need them. Yes, and they gonna be there for at least a year. At least. They was we was in Katrina for two years. Down in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. We down there two years building. Mm. And that place still not built. And they still making and and whatever specialized uh training that they got, they still making money down there. Yes. Yes. So trucking ain't the all to be all like they trying to soup it up to be. It's not. Mm -hmm. and, and and I want to know where did you get your facts from? Well, Where did you get this information from? Well, you know, some of the some of the gurus that was all about all about trying to get you in and pay all that money and all like that. They switching it up to uh, to to teaching you how to be a a, a dispatcher, a broker now. What's your feelings yeah, about yeah. that? Yeah, they they definitely because they know it's a sucker market right now. Mm. The industry is a sucker market right now, and any and everybody and their mama will will spend money because they think trucking makes a lot of money, but they don't realize it. there's so many pieces to the pie in trucking. Mm -hmm. You know, a normal a normal a large <laughs> pie get eight pieces, right? Eight right. slices. Right, right. Domino's came along and said, "We can give you sixteen for the same price." We gonna yeah, we gonna give you twelve. Oh, twelve. Okay. And all they did. Yeah, they 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 made twelve, they just and made, all they did was made the slices slice smaller, pie smaller. Mm. Same size pie, they just made it smaller, mm. right? Smaller they, they, and they, charge they, you and, and and charge you more for it, right? Yeah. And then mm. Pizza Hut said, "Hey, we're gonna make a square one, but it's gonna be the same effect. <laughs> 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 we gonna make us a square one. We gonna make the same effect." Eight okay. slices on a square. Mm. Man. So, this is what they doing out there. Wow. They, they, they chopping that, their trucking industry up like pot. All right. Knowing only one going to make money is them. Mm. The students ain't going to make no money. They not telling these students how long it's going to be before they make money. You know, it take years to make the money they talk about, brag about. There was a guy on there that said he make a hunt. He been driving six months. That's that. And he made hundred thousand dollars. That that's what he said. He was like, he, he, no, 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 no. He said seven. He he said seven, seven my guy. Months. He says, uh, he said, how long you been in the industry? My man says seven. The dude said, how much you make? A hundred grand. I called Cal. I said, no, bro, come on. And then everybody, every everybody in the comment session. Came at me like, 
oh, you're wrong if he was an owner operator and this, that, and the third. But he sure only has it. seven months, though. He, he seven months ain't gonna teach him to make a hundred thousand. Facts. Okay. First of all, first of all, before we get into the hundred thousand part, the truck makes a hundred thousand, but he a company driver for Walmart. Okay. Right. Right. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Now, now, see, I started to really rip his shit apart because I got connections and friends that's in the transportation department of Walmart. Mm -hmm. They do the hiring and firing and all that shit. They, they design you a truck and all that, bring you into the program and the whole shebang. Mm -hmm. So I started to really chop chop his shit up, but I didn't want to do it to him because Walmart don't start you at no hundred thousand. First of all, they got guys that's been there five years just hitting the hundred thousand mark. Right. When you come into Walmart, you at fifty thousand. That's and half. that's what. That's that's with bonuses and all that shit, because you basically coming in at like 35, 40, to be honest. But they give you all these bonuses and incentives that push you up to 50 if you pay attention. Mm -hmm. All the big companies do it. JB Hunt do it, Snyder do it, Warner do it. They all do it. They start you like at 50,000. You gotta remember, what did the government say about us in 19 fucking 75? This is a unskilled labor job mm. all we all, all so we, we all we do is sit and drive all day that that's what they said them, that's what they said yeah and then my father and them had to go on strike to show these motherfuckers it take a lot of skill and labor to do this shit and there and what people fell in to realize that there was a trucker strike back in the day bro i was in it i was a kid sitting on the side of the road in motherfucking ohio on route 80 Mm. In a cab over, motherfucking international, waiting. We, I think we were there. Uh, if I remember correctly, we were there five days. Five days. It was nineteen seventy eight. It was a guy on TikTok that says that you guys didn't do that. Says that all oh, you shit. guys, all you guys was do was uh, complain and and y'all the reasons. Y'all the reasons is the is the reason why. Uh, we got government restrictions right. on everything. That's not true. The reason they got government restrictions on that shit is because of the new dumbass generation that came behind me. Mm. Think about it. I came in in the 80s with an articulated class A double combination vehicle mm -hmm. license, which meant I could drive any type of vehicle. Mm -hmm. In 1995, I believe it was, they came with the CDL, the commercial driver's license. Mm. That's when we they were grandfathered. Yeah, we were grandfathered in. We didn't have to do nothing. All we had to do was go to motor vehicle, show them our license, mm. and they changed the wording on it from articulated class A to commercial driver's license. Mm. Class A. All right. I never took it. I never had to do nothing else. All right. So, but then when they, oh, when, go ahead. When when, that, when when it got later into the nineties, that's when they started hitting us with the rules and regulation. All this regulation changed because it was making money. Because mm. you got to remember, their welfare department and the prison release form tapped into the transportation industry. They said this is a non-skilled labor job. Put these motherfuckers to work. Mm. So companies started hiring them. So in the process of that you hiring these felons and these welfare motherfuckers and, 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 and unemployed people, they had to come up with some new rules and regulations for them to follow. Okay. Okay. The ELD, the ELD is 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 still not a factual thing to have. They did it because you had so many parolees working, they had to know where the fuck you was at. Oh, okay. I haven't thought of it that way. Okay, preach, my brother, preach. This is, this is the shit that they don't talk about. They, 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 they had so many parolees driving in these companies, they came up with the electric log. It had nothing to do with no, no, no motherfucking anything they talk about. It had to do with knowing where these motherfucking parolees were because they was giving them breathing room, but at the same time, they wanted to know where you at. Okay. And the company was responsible for you because the company 
signed the contract to put you to work. They said, okay, we'll take 10 parolees a year. Mm. But we got to monitor them. Mm. So they came up with the ELD. Mm. Mm. All right. it's, it's a fucking, it's an ankle bracelet in your truck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. So check this out. Uh, you did a stitch recently on, uh, uh -huh. on on this guy. I think he took a Florida load and he talking about oh, how much, it. how much money. And you, 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 you didn't, you didn't say anything, but you wanted to say something. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to say it, bro. Hold on. Hold on. So basically, this guy say, "Oh, you need to stop it. You're gonna get a load of fall. You're gonna get a load to Florida, but you ain't gonna have no loads coming out." What I'm trying to get you to understand, King, if I'm going to get six thousand five hundred dollars to go to Florida, I'm not worrying about no loads coming out. You, I got six thousand five hundred dollars. That's double the price. That's double what I usually get. So if I got a deadhead 300 miles or if I got a deadhead two hours or three hours, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still good. I'm still in a win-win situation because I came up $6,500. Let's say for instance, if I deadhead a thousand miles, I got to, excuse me, I got to put a thousand dollars in my gas tank, you know, in my fuel tank. I still came up $5,400. I'm still in a win-win situation. So that's why I say when you get a load coming out of Florida, you make sure you... you All right, man. There, there's your opportunity right here, bro, because you... You, <laughs> your, your, expression, your expression on this video said it all, but... You you wanted to <laughs> you wanted to say something. I'm giving you the opportunity to say it, man. Go ahead. I had so many things to say that day, and when I saw that video, I just said, you know what? I'm not gonna say that. I'm just gonna hit him with the cap and let it go. Because, all right, when 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 we went to Florida, what time of year was this? When 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 did you get this six sixty five hundred dollar load, and where did it come from? Are we talking FEMA? Did you bring in generators on a low boy? What did you what what was your commodity that you took to Florida for sixty five hundred? Was it under a government contract? Mm. See, you 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 put the number out there, but we need answers. I need to know where in Florida did you go, and what did you take? Because then I can say bullshit or no. But was it during hand the, the hurricane relief? Mm -hmm. Was it was it during a crisis? Mm -hmm. What what did you take to Florida that paid you sixty five hundred? And 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 your math is crazy because I right, let's let's start this off. You got sixty five when they booked it. You didn't fuel up when you when you left. Mm. So when you left point A, that sixty five you ain't touched nothing for fuel, no tolls or nothing, right? There's no no because Florida got an easy pass and uh, mm -hmm. Florida, it depends on which way you went. Where did you go, bro? Because Florida got money roads, mm. and if you really roll in sixty five hundred, you took the money roads. Mm -hmm. Because that load got to get where it got to go. Right. You ain't got time to be running down ninety five. You got to mm -hmm. run the Florida Pike. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that so, Florida Pike ain't cheap. No sir. No sir. No sir. Now, you didn't, you you didn't fuel up when you got that, so you delivered. Wherever did where did you come from? Because I need to know the mileage that you came from, so I can tell how many times you fueled up. And what was the what was the price of fuel when you got the sixty five hundred dollar load? See, it's so many things. I need I need answers, bro. You just can't come out there and say sixty five hundred. You ain't need no load. Then I know he's not a real dude because guess what he said? If I got a deadhead a hundred or two hundred miles, he still winning. And then he turned around and showed me he was a rookie because he said, if I got to drive two or three hours. I'm still winning. Well, hey, buddy. Nah, 300, 300 miles ain't no two or three hours, bro. Okay, listen, listen. At 60 miles an hour, at 60 miles, at 60 a minute, right? Right, that's and a, we're using the low end of it. <laughs> that's the low end. Let's just keep it at the, the number that make people mathematically smart. Okay. So if you're doing 60 miles an hour, it's 
uh, 60 miles an hour uh, and you're doing uh, a mile a minute, that's an hour. That's 60 miles. So break it down to 50 because of a little breaking them here and the tap here and the, and the traffic here. So you went 50 miles an hour. Right. We using the bottom numbers. Okay. Right. So that's one hour. The other 50 miles gives you two hours. That's 100 miles right there. Mm-hmm. Deadhead. You sure you want to do this mathematically with me? Because I'm going to break that 6,500 down. Because at some point when you delivered, you had to get fuel. You said you dumped a thousand in for fuel, right? Right. That's what he said. He dumped a thousand in for fuel. So let's let's say that's the second time he dumped a thousand in. So that means that sixty five now was forty five. Right. No breakdowns. Good. I know you got a truck payment because I can look at you and tell you got one of the motherfucking lease purchase programs or you got a motherfucking truck that's costing you $3,500 a month because you right. was an idiot to get into it. Right, right. So, he was talking, you, you, you know, we, you know, we, you know, when we get to these mega carriers, we, we, we get talked into, uh, we get talked into yeah, yeah. the lease, pro, uh, lease, leasing. Oh, well, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, you can choose your own lows. You can go home, whatever you want to go home. You, you know the stick. So they throw you the keys. Mm-hmm. And once they throw you the keys and you hook up to that trailer, they give you your first load out. The rules change. Sure do. So I just, you know, my whole, my whole thing with him, I'm not going to say he didn't get 6,500, but when, what time of year was it? Was it during this hurricane that just happened? Was it two, three years ago? I mean, when, when did this 6,500 come in play? Because during the pandemic, you ain't getting no goddamn 6,500. Mm. The government wasn't even paying that. Mm. DS and they wasn't paying that to run medical supplies to the VA hospital in Tampa. DSS, y'all. Man, look, I as always, bro, I always appreciate you coming on, shedding some light on the Lockout Man podcast show. You know what I'm saying? Keep that foot on the neck, bro. It is too many truckers on TikTok is bragging. Is is bragging, man. They, and 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 they bragging on BS. I mean, can't yeah, well, they gonna keep they gonna keep bragging until somebody make a TikTok and they're getting their little stupid ass robbed or beat the fuck up in the parking lot. Mm. Cause I done seen the joker get slapped up in the in the in the, in the uh in the petrol. Which which one right in Atlanta? In, in Atlanta? In Kinley. Oh. In Kinley, North Carolina. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, young, it was young boy jumped out talking, jumped out talking slick and didn't realize that's the home of the veterans. Mm. Kinley is the home of the veterans. When they pull up in Kinley, that's the private truck show. Mm. You ain't coming in there talking crazy. You go in there in a mire, go in there and buy you two little souvenirs for your little truck and go to bed. <laughs> but he was out there talking slick and got slapped up. Mm. So they got to be careful, man. It, it, it's dangerous out here. It and it's, is. It, it's, it, it's, it's dangerous out here. I got to make a video uh, when it can stop raining out here. Okay. Of uh, the jokers who be lying about they kingpin got pulled. Yeah, man. You know, that, that, it's too many. It's too many. One. Yeah, it's too many buffooleries on that one. That's making you know just making jokes. And I get it. You know, we we uh, you know, we get held up in the fuel island every you know every once in a while. But when you go and mess with that man's trailer for whatever reason, I I don't care what it is. But when you go and mess with that man's trailer, you know. And let's say it don't it don't dislodge right then and there, but when it does dislodge, it's gonna you know it's gonna hurt or kill somebody. They're gonna go back yep. to that camera and see you, bro. Yep, especially on the fuel line. Exactly. Every every lane got a camera in it, going and coming. Sure do. But I, I'm, I'm gonna teach them how to. I'm gonna teach people because uh, I, I seen this guy or it might have been a girl. I don't know what they are anymore, but. They said while they was in the truck stop, they came, they took a shower, whatever, came back to the truck. Somebody, they did a pre-trip and boom, the kingpin was pulled. I right. said, bullshit. But I'm going to make a video to show them how to prevent that. Because there's a way to prevent that from happening. And you, if you're a trucker, you know how to do this because this is what we do. Mm -hmm. 
Now, back in my day when we were young, you got your kingpin pulled because you was an asshole. Mm -hmm. You didn't get your kingpin pulled just because you was pulling in a truck stop and bebopping. Nobody gives a fuck about you. In today's society, ain't nobody going to allow that to happen anyway if they see it. Right. Somebody going somebody gonna to say something because this that say something uh, society we live in now. Exactly. Everybody has to break out a camera and... Everybody got to be in there. Everybody businesses, man. That, yeah, so I, I haven't seen, I mean, I haven't, uh, uh, you know, since the iteration of TikTok, man, I've seen more, I, I've seen more people in more people's business than a little bit, bro. Than a little bit. Because everybody has an opinion about an occupation that's been around 105 years. They've only been around one year. <laughs> We've been uh, out here. 105 years, okay? Look at it like this. 40 of that 105, I've been driving. Mm. I've been on the road. Mm. So when I hear and see things, I'm learning to do the new, you know, to learn the regulations of new things that's going on because I'm a company owner. I have to know mm. these things. Exactly. So, yeah, I, I don't run an ELD because I know how to take that shit to court. Right. But my drivers run ELDs. And they run ELDs because I get a bit I get a percentage from the uh, insurance company to have it. Right. You know, I get that break. Right. And plus, I know where the truck is at. It exactly. helps me, it helps me to know where my equipment is. You know, and, and you know, we got we we put the camera systems in because that was your co-defendant. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, it, I, I'm going to catch up to with it, but me personally, I'm not doing it. Right. You're not doing it My for your, is, you're not doing it for your truck, but for your business yeah. purposes, for the business you're going to do it. Everything, yeah, everything yeah. is legit. Yeah. You know, um, even the own operators that come on, if they lease on to DSX, we, we have to ask them to, you know, show that they have it. Mm-hmm. Now, how they run it is not my business. If they email me paper logs, that's what we accept because paper logs is legal. As long as they email me the end of the day trip with their paper logs, it's a legal transaction. There you go. Because people don't realize a a, a signature electronically is not held up in court. So when you sign off on your ELB and something happens and you got to go to court with that, Federal court, because you got to remember, what are we under? Federal under regulations. State. We're under federal. So these judges, does these judges are these judges federal regulated judges? Or is this a state judge that's in a municipality? Mm. Because if you think about it, if you got a ticket, you got a ticket from the state police, and it was to a county court clerk that you had to go talk to to pay the ticket. Facts. You didn't get a federal ticket. You didn't go see a federal judge. You didn't go sit before the DOT Department Council. Right. But you can request that. Because if they give you a ticket, you have to ask the officer, okay, where's your DOT department and the DOT council in this state so I can uh you know fight this ticket? Oh no, you just go to the municipality and pay it. No, 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 no. We're not going to no municipality and paying shit. <laughs> they gave me a ticket, in North Carolina said. You know, North Carolina and I, we we beef all the time because they've been trying to catch me for over 20 years. <laughs> and every time they get a chance, when they get a chance to get me, they try to get me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so they uh, gave me a ticket. He said, you know, he had to give me a ticket to put me out of service because I don't have an ELD. I handed my logbook. He said, right. yeah, but, you know, you got to have ELD. This is a, a, a 2005 vehicle, blah, 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 blah. But the engine, the, the engine's not said, though. I, I opened the hood. I said, read the tag on the motor. Mm-hmm. He said, I can't see that. You know, just take it to court. You know, you could dispute it in the court when you no, get there. No, I no, said, no, I no. Said, Let's not. Make, make, sure make sure you show up that day. Exactly. And I took a picture. I took a picture of him and the motor side by side that day. And he refused to. <sighs> That, that that's a whole nother story, man. Let me go ahead and get on up out of here, bro. As always, right, as always, y'all can catch my man right here on TikTok, D S X Drill Sergeant Incorporated. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 40 years deep, man. Guys, go over there to his TikTok and check him out. Man, D 
Thanks. I appreciate you coming on, bro. As always, we'll get back at it, man. Big G's got it locked, boy. Won't you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Won't you to take it like a G? It yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean. For my push. My love is like lotion. It's all over you. You all over me. Cause you my little boo. How many times I gotta tell you no fuck?